Barbershop Podcast episode 69, right? 69. 69. And if you're going to have episode 69, it. you better goddamn well have lo fi <laughs> in the house. Uh, I was saying, I was great. saying earlier that we have had a wonderful stretch of the most enlightened, gentle female artists, haven't we? Yes, it's been amazing. It's It's been been awesome. It's been. They've touched our soul. They've touched our heart. It was nice because for the longest time we couldn't get a woman in here, and and then for a a nice stretch we got some excellent female artists as we will uh, for the remainder of March and in April. But tonight, right in the middle of that, we've got a real treat for you tonight. In the Ides of March and closest to my birthday, which was Monday, St. Patrick's Day, we've got our March 19th, 2014 episode with Lo-Fi. And Ryan Cannon, I know you are excited about I'm this I'm thoroughly show. excited. I'm so excited I shaved half my beard. Half the beard. Half the beard is gone. Just the, the outside's gone. Just yeah. the outside. Now I look more like a <laughs> pedophile than I used to. <laughs> Well, that is in time with tonight because I tell Shit, you, that's we, on the internet now. Yes, yeah, it's forever on the, on the internet. internet, and it's not saying you are. You just Fuck. look like no, one. I just said that's I, okay. I resemble one. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something that I am thrilled about tonight. Even though the show's running a bit late, it's because yeah. we've got a little different setup that we normally do. Instead of a nice organized sitting down, we've got a bit of a rock and roll party in tonight. And the guys in Lo-Fi, each and every one of these guys, uh, have a storied history in Hamilton. Have played in so many outfits. Have uh, uh, so many stories and such a history I'm playing on all kinds of stages here and there and everywhere. But they've formed together some sort of outfit that has sustained and existed for a long period of time. It's kind of a three stooges meet WWF, uh, you know. And I'm telling you, it's like it, you're in for a treat tonight. It, the time of year where everyone's beat down and run down and tired and fed up. We got some lo-fi to get you high tonight. So I want to introduce uh, the guys in the band, uh, Lips, who, you know, I met years and years and years ago, you know, down at the old La Luna, you know, blowing my mind, playing uh, uh, music down there, playing reggae and all kinds of uh, different stylistic uh, cues, blowing my mind. And Todd Knight, who is uh, smart and handsome, and he's in the house tonight. Oh, Todd. And a couple guys I had the pleasure of working with years ago, uh, Vince Shara, who is, uh, even though he's slightly under the weather, he's still on top of his game. You know, you can't, you can't beat that man up. And, of course, Ken Thor Cork, who is uh, <laughs> always in the house, fierce as usual. Guys, welcome to Barbershop Podcast. Hey, yo. Yeah. So, uh, with me... The first time I heard, even though I'd known all you guys individually, the first time I heard of Lo-Fi was when uh, Jefferson Hackett and Lee Hillman were running uh, Soul Kitchen down on Parkdale North. And we went in there to rehearse one night, and I saw you guys had a room, and there was no dash between the low and the fi. So I thought you were called Lofi, you know. And I'm thinking, <laughs> who's who's this band Lofi, you know? And it's like they look pretty good. And then I found out who was in it, and I was I was excited about it. So if you guys can kind of give me a brief rundown of of the genesis of Lofi, and what, did you have a plan or did it just kind of come together? Uh, well, I'll try to make it quick for you so we don't lose our <laughs> interweb <laughs> peeps, but. Uh... Yeah, I, I was in a band years ago called Smooth, Smoother. And, Look out! And uh, <laughs> Ken played bass with us, and so I got to know Ken that way. And then Lips was my neighbor, and uh, Vince was Ken's friend. So we're kind of all friends. We all live within, like, three blocks of each other, downtown Hamilton. But in my old band, I just, you know, I was like, I don't want to I don't wanna have a singer, deal with singers and stuff. So I thought, I'll sing myself. And so I can't sing, right? So I was like, well, who got, who else can't sing? Right? sing? So I was like, well, the guy in Beastie Boys, the high pitch Eric guy yeah. in the background. Humma, numma, numma. I was like, I could do that. Yeah. And it sort of went from there. So the, the sound kind of developed from what you couldn't do as opposed to what you could do because you already knew yeah. what you could do. Yeah, pretty much like, um, you know, just trying to find something that I could get Because you had tasty on, you know? rhythms in a pocket. You just were looking for the. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I also want to do things that connected with a live audience on the first listen. You mm-hmm. know, that was really important to me, too, because in Smoother, we used to do some joke songs, sort of, and uh, yeah. sometimes they went over better than the regular songs. Yeah. So when, when I started to see that, I was like, you know what, let's do some drinking music, and 
let's push some buttons and well this is this is important to me too and i'm gonna ask you lips because you've probably been in some serious some serious bands over the years maybe a little too serious do you like the fact that this band has got serious musicians in it but they don't take themselves too serious that's the best part Kevin. <laughs> absolutely that's, that's the best part of this whole thing we're all friends we just freak out and we're all going the next day get pissed in someone's eye when they're sleeping it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> Lo-fi rules. Lo-fi. <laughs> so Vince, if, if you had a tattoo that you had to put on your body that represented lo-fi, what would it say? It'd be lips <laughs> saying all that. <laughs> <laughs> Covering a good part no, of I your take chest. That back, and actually. Back. No, I don't want that at all. <laughs> <laughs> That so can be arranged. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the scary part. <laughs> so Ken, when when Todd got a hold of you, were you like up for that right away? I was. I was reluctant. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know what? Because you get asked a lot. Because people are always asking. Well, no, to start no, a band. no, no. I love playing with. I love playing with Smith. Those guys are really fun. Todd is a disturbing, disturbing bastard. Disturbing and, <laughs> but he's always been fun, and he's always been a great guy. So he's always, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, man. It's all you touch me uh, deep within. It's all good. I hate that caught that on it. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he at first I just was uh, kind of was playing with Kaz at the time. Uh, oh, Kaz back from yeah, yeah. back from the day. So, we were touring and I was and I was doing a lot and Smoothie was just kind of starting off. But uh and there's a bit of a similarity in it. There's kind of like yeah, a hip hop and clickety clickety element absolutely. to it, right? But uh then then when Todd asked me and I played a show, I was I was sold. It was just to have an, like that's what being a musician's all about. Right. And a lot of people forget that, but it's just having fun yeah. and loving what you're doing. This is fun. There's no such thing as a, a gloomy lo fi show. It, yeah, has is, is anyone at any point told anyone what to play? Has there ever been a oh, chart, yeah, chart put in front of anyone? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Does he? <laughs> okay. Dude, you got to do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, me. But aside from that, everyone else is pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> but, that was uh, one of the things. It's funny you say that because that was one of the things when, especially when Lips came in the band, we were kind of like huge talent on the guitar what are we going to do you know what i mean mm-hmm. so the kind of the idea and same with ken really and vince even and, and some of the drummers we've had so the idea really in the songwriting was to leave spots for them to shine do yeah. whatever you want you know what i mean i always i always look at lo-fi as like uh from from my mind you know when we bring songs to the band it's like to me it's like a big hot rodded engine right yeah you drop it in and these and these guys that's how it comes out. Well, I want to hear a purr right off the bat. Usually, I chew, chew the fat for twenty minutes, but I'd love for you guys to like kick into something right away and get a get a feel sure. going. For well, what welcome people... all our uh, oh. barber pod shop cast <laughs> barber shop podcast <laughs> listener <com> watchers. <laughs> <laughs> all three of them. So Google.ca. <laughs> Anyways, uh... welcome all you peeps out there in the interweb. We'll send this one out to all you guys. This one's called "Long Live the Party." Well, I got old school rhymes, I got fat guitars, I got 16 kegs in the back of my car. And everyone's here, all the ladies are tight. I see all the cleavage, it glows in the light. The light shines bright, it's blind and to my eyes. Will everybody party, chug a beer, drink some rye? Will everybody notice I'm a super fly guy when I rock about a party with my boys? Low five! You know I sleep all day, I don't got no job. Like Larry said, baby, suburban ice slob. So turn up the bass. And bring on the women You be Paul Stanley And And I'll be Gene Simmons Simmons. Cause all the way is how we go We're gonna fuck it up, that's how we roll You better close your curtains and lock the door Cause no fire killing like a matador It's time to party So let's get crazy There ain't no tomorrow So let's get killed Yeah! Down the party! So let's get mental, there ain't no tomorrow, so let's get fucked, yeah, long live the party! You 
know I hit that Jagger like a knife to the brain All the girlies drink it and makes them insane I'm drinking my tequila and I'm smoking my blunt When you shout out, I feel it So show me some love You know I got ten ladies in a hot tub, yo They're hitting on the bong, I think they're ready to go Well, my name's not George, but I sure could use a bush And if you're on your hee-haw, settle for ya <laughs> Ding dong, the party's on So show me the redheads, the brunettes, the blondes well, I'm on a night train, like guns and roses. So Max was my bitch. He potters my nose, cause all the way is how we go. We're gonna fuck it up, that's how we roll. You better close your curtains and lock the door. Cause oh fire killing like a matador, it's time to party. So let's get crazy. There ain't no tomorrow. So let's get killed. Well, it's time to party, so let's get mental. There ain't no tomorrow, so let's get fucked. Yeah, long live the party. Well, I got old school rhymes, I got fat guitars, I got 16 kegs in the back of my car. And everyone's here, all the ladies are tight. I see all the cleavage, it glows in the light. The light shines bright, it's blinding to my eyes. Well, everybody party, chug a beer, drink some rye. Well, everybody notice I'm a super fly guy. When I rock about a party with my boy Lo-Fi. I oh, sleep all day, I don't got no job. Like Leary said, baby, suburban. So turn up the bass and bring on the women You'll be Paul Stanley and I'll be Gene Simmons Cause all the way is how we go Gonna fuck it up, that's how we roll You better close your curtains and lock in the door Cause no fly killing like a matador It's time to party So let's get crazy There ain't no tomorrow So let's get killed it's time to party, so let's get mental. There ain't no tomorrow, so let's get fucked. Yeah, long live the party. All right, this is the time you take your clothes off. Come on. I know you're listening. I know you're watching. I know you want to get naked. <laughs> all about the party here at Barbershop Podcast and Lo-Fi. This is exactly what you needed this March 19th, I tell you. A little you bit great of great coffee here, too. It is the best Coffee's coffee. It is. keeps best. you going here at Barbershop Podcast. We want to <laughs> thank our friend Maggie Siri, who uh, runs artists.ca. Uh, and she will do uh, anything that you want printed on anything. You know, get a hold of us at Barbershop Podcast. Anything well. And uh, we'll hamiltonartist.ca, and we will fix you up with uh, Maggie. And I want to um, touch on the fact that that is, like, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, like, not only hilarious, but, you know, how important is it? Because it's overlooked quite often. People take themselves way too seriously. And, and I've often said, if I've worked at a bar and I'm booking music in there, it's like people are coming in for your fucking chicken wings or your beer. They're coming in for a good time. You know, that's what they're coming in for. You know, they're paying this money because you're providing a good time. Who, like, who do you look at? Like, who, who gives you your entertainment inspiration? Like, who are some of the entertainers that you look at and kind of? Uh, you know, I got, like, I'll be honest with you. I was a fan of the big, big, big rock back in the day, yeah. arena rock. And, big uh, production. Yeah, big production. And the cool thing about it back then was that you could have a band of friends or whatever, and you could still go all the way to the top, right? Yeah. So you could have the same guy you went to grade three with on bass and yeah. go all the way to the top. It doesn't really happen anymore, but that was a big inspiration. And then also, like, when we write songs, I think, you know, at least I do, is... I try to picture myself in the audience, you know, what, what would I want to hear if I was standing there and, uh, you know, there's a lot of bands that they try to be super cool and drag you into their cool and then everybody can be cool together, but, uh. We're not cool, so. <laughs> <laughs> when you embrace it, it's true. Like when William Shatner yeah. did that, and he hugged himself and said, "Yeah, you're never going to make fun of me again." Yeah, it's like he owned it, and I really think that that's 
if more people re- just relaxed and enjoyed it, like you talk to someone in a bank line, they become your friend within a couple of minutes. If you break the ice with a smile and say with what you guys do, if you come out and say, this is who we are, I imagine you make some friends mm-hmm. and some fans right away. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, it's important too for us. Pe- people need to know it. it there, it's a joke too. There is a joke to it. I mean, like, <laughs> and, 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 you know, and I've had people say, "Oh, you know, some misogynistic lyrics and stuff like that." And I understand that, but all I would say to them is, it is there are certain parts of life, and then they do exist, and so. Uh, you know, we think they're kind of funny, and so that's the road that we go. Yeah, you, know you, have, you to, have to have a sense of humor. You yeah, do. but yeah. It, it, you know, it is a joke, but a lot of it's true too. So. A lot of it is true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now speaking, of, I want to Ryan. I want to spin some of these crank calls. You know, so tell me the history of like your love of <laughs> the <laughs> telephone and 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 well, the rankling, thing with, uh, rattling thing with crank chains. calls is. Uh, <laughs> A lot of these calls are from back when you could still star 69 and block your number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now those little those little guys down in the BSJ, Barton Street Jail, they're all listening to you. You know what I mean? They're like, what's he doing over there on Canada Street, man? You know, so you can't do that anymore. But anyways, this is back in the day. And like, again, you know, I you tried did it to for your own the, enjoyment. For right my own enjoyment, man, yeah. to freak out my friends. <laughs> cool. You know what I mean? Well, Poke so. fun at people. All right, Ryan, spin one. Let's hear it. Oh, hi. Is this Dr. Dick? Yeah. Oh, hi. I just wanted to uh, see about making an appointment. I got a problem with my urethra. Dr. Dick. That's the wrong number, man. Oh, sorry, man. No problem. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't walked giggle, by? And you would giggle for days. <laughs> who hasn't walked by Dr. Dick? <laughs> <with> Dr. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> we want another one, or we want to space them out throughout. The I show? don't know. I don't think we can give them too much good stuff no, all at no. once. We got we got lots of time. We got one, but we got like a lot of material. You guys are prolific to say the least. So we got some videos. We've got some recorded stuff. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go play. I don't know, Ryan. You want to play one of the videos? You feeling up to that? Yeah, we can do a video. Let's do a video. Which one? I don't know. What's your favorite? Well, uh, what do we got there, Jimmy? We we got uh, the Christmas song and get buff lined up. Yeah, you know what? Uh, if you want a song, we're gonna. This is gonna be Christmas in spring, which is the worst time of all for Christmas. It's like, well, never mind. Getting never mind. Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna send this out to the cyber web because uh, it's a good old Christmas song. And next time your your grandma asks you to come over at Christmas and eat the mo- meatloaf and talk to her, <laughs> give her attention and tell her you love her. You got an answer now. Yeah, you could just play her this one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Barbershoppodcast.com. <laughs> Christmas sucks, go to hell. Mrs. Claus is a dirty pig. She likes her mugs thick and big. Father Christmas touched me there. I'm wearing my Christmas underwear. I hate Christmas, it hates me. I'm gonna take my life on Christmas Eve. Get her 
no hope. Do you feel me? Instead, I'll hang myself. Lo-fi rules. You've heard it here and there and everywhere, first, second, and third. Trust me. This is a band you're going to want to see. You certainly want to feel. You don't want them creeping up on your porch late at night, but you do want them in your uh, in your neighborhood if there's trouble. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so having a great bunch of fun tonight. You going to do another live one for us? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. If anybody wants to, we, we just we give our music away for free, too. So if you want to go download it, go to lo- lofirules.com, lofirules.com, and just... Take whatever you want, man. It's all about coming out to the show, so if you dig it, yeah! Here's one called uh, Thinking With My Cock. <laughs> it's one I wrote for Vince's mom. Oh. I mean Ken's mom. Oh. I mean Lips's mom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, so, but this can be for men or women. It's not just for dudes. You can think with your crotch. It's you can symbolic. think with your vagina. You it's can think with your penis. Right? Crotch. Yeah, your crotch. Thinking with your crotch. Cock. But, uh, you know, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> what? You say I'm unpredictable You never know what I'm gonna do one day, uh, things are going great. The uh, next day, uh, we're screwed. Introduce me to all your friends. I uh, tell them I'm having sand. The uh, next thing, I'm in their heads. And you're left knowing I was thinking with my cock. Cock! What can I say? The brain in my head don't work well, anymore. I was thinking with my cock. Cock! What can I say? The brain Sometimes in my head don't work anyway. I think with my cock. What can I say? The brain in my head don't work well, anyway. I was thinking with my cock. Cock! What? The brain in my head don't work anyway. Come on. Your sister blew me. What? She sends her regards. And your daddy hates me. But the apple don't fall too far. Well, I nailed the bartender. Because she said hello. I'm a real contender when it comes to the holes cause I think with my cock cock what can I say the brain in my head don't work anyway I was thinking with my cock cock what can I say the brain in my head don't work anyway I think with my cock cock what can I say the brain in my head don't work anyway I thinking with my cock cock what can I say brain in my head don't think anyway lips on guitar Say the club you in my head, head don't work.
Take it back to my cave. Cave. What can I say? The brave in my head don't work it with away. a big fucking cock. What can I say? The brain in my head don't work anyway. Brain in my head don't work anyway. Brain in my head don't work anyway. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jesus, right? <laughs> you know, you can call it social commentary. You can call it kick-ass yeah. music. And what do you you think? know what? We got we got no problem putting the explicit content <laughs> warning on. Today. No problem. No problem. It's it's refreshing. And I gotta say, like again, I've known that you guys have been in the music scene for so long. It must be refreshing to kind of get to the point where you're so far in the fucking woods and you're like, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna write what I wanna do, I'm gonna play what I'm gonna play. And if you get it, I don't fucking care. You know? Like what uh, talk about that as far as like being in a business long enough, wanting it to be a part of your life, but but being frustrated at being able to get it across. The thing that got me like is that always surprised me like back in the smoother days was that if you get if you have some success and you you get on a label and you get signed like for the first little while you play the same stages as everybody else you're still going to roll into the casbah you know and play your set you are right and so that kind of hit home where i was like you know what you can do it right here right now you know what i mean stop stop with the so many kids out there with the dream of this it's not about that man it's about if you can't go down to lazy flamingo and kick everybody in the balls square on then like go home man or or if you're even your mom's not gonna come watch you fucking go home yeah you know what i mean but uh you know i'd like to say we have the confidence to say we don't care if people like it but we do we don't have any confidence so (laughs) (laughs) So we're fortunate people like it. That's really how we look at it. Sometimes it surprises us and, uh, you know, uh, but we're really grateful. You know, we've had a lot of great support, especially in Hamilton and a lot of longtime friends that come to see the band and support us. So, yeah, we've been really lucky, you know, really lucky. Well, you're all like technically adept. So I want to talk a little bit about your recording history and, uh, you know, you're all okay in the studio. You know what's going on. Tell me about we're going to play, you know, a couple of your, your recorded tunes how do you approach the recording process? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's we have a small studio. We, we do everything ourselves, first of all. Um, Ken and I normally sit back and kind of do all the production stuff, all engineer it, mix it, all that kind of thing. Um, approaching it is because it's such a small place, we have to do everything individually. Right. So we'll start off with drums, hit the bass, guitars, keys, vocals, whatever else we throw in there and so on and so forth. And just go with it and if it sounds good it sounds good if it doesn't we start over again <laughs> cool yeah that's and we've done that many a time time and time again and that's a that's a, the formula that works yeah for us it does anyway well clearly the uh the gist works because we're going to play this little ditty called balls deep um does that have a <laughs> one uh, of my favorites <laughs> obviously a deep philosophical <laughs> that one's that's a song about when you get a new boyfriend or you get a new girlfriend and they got a whole different bag of dirty tricks than the last one. <laughs> that's what that's actually. You see, about, I, w- but... I was figuring that you were going to fake it, and it would be a really deep song. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, it's deep for the balls. Yeah. Like the actual ball is real deep, but All right. everybody else, no. Well, you're gonna get a little bit of. At when we home. make love, we stay outside the vagina as much as we'd like to <laughs> crawl inside. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going balls deep at barbershoppodcast.com. <laughs> Like my girls on the darker side. What, what, what? Seems they don't mind the things I got in mind. <laughs> I like my whiskey with a cigarette. I can taste it when the filter gets wet. I like my girls a little out of style. Cause all the cool go Day. Please don't take my sunshine away Got a dollar in my pocket and news for you A low fi tie like a hangman loose All the boots keep shaking night and day Please don't take my sunshine away I got a dollar in my pocket and news for you A low fi tie like a hangman's news yeah.
the darker side. Barbershop Podcast in here with Lo-Fi. Todd, you weren't always a singer. You weren't a natural singer. You obviously had to go to school to some extent to learn to sing. Did you have some teachers along the way? No, you know, I just I just kind of did it myself. I, you know, I the person I credit the most of all uh, for song from songwriting aspect, performance, how to play guitar, how to tour, everything is is Andrew Franey, who is the singer of Smoother. Guy taught me a lot of stuff, man. So, you know, hats off to him and you know, he's living over in France now. He's got a little electro album going on and stuff. But no, Andrew Andrew was big, big influence, man. He, he, he told me how to go from the basement, you know, to the stage, you know. So so you got to go first person right up there. You can't, like, it's not something you can do over the phone or anything like that. What do you mean? Do you well, mean? we're going <laughs> to... Ryan, spin it. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> yeah, you're you're rocking rocking out. Out. I don't know what's going on. Oh, sorry. Hi, is this for your voice? Yes, it is. Oh, hi there. Just interested in uh, talking to somebody about maybe getting some singing lessons. Okay, I'm the one you speak to. Oh, that's great. Uh, can maybe can I sing a little piece for you? Maybe get an idea of my skill level. <laughs> if you want to. Do you have the time to suck my fucking balls? To throw my fucking cack of fucking yeah? It's more punk stuff that I do. Okay. I basically, get it for for the booze and the chicks. Pardon me? Uh, can you uh, can you help me out on the uh, on the singing a bit? I can help you out on the singing a bit. Uh, I've worked with other uh, punk singers. Is, is that what you're interested? Oh in? yeah, yeah. It's got to be punk, man. It's punk or it's junk, is what I say. <laughs> punk or it's junk. <laughs> um, do you have any other things that you sing that you don't have to curse so much? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. It's our our music's curse laden, but that's punk. Eh? You know what it's like. Yeah, I'm totally aware of that. What else could I sing for you? Fucking, fucking, oh, fucking, yeah! That's more of my metal scream. Okay. Now, what are you looking to do with your voice? Uh, I just want to be able to, like, sometimes if I, you know, I, I blow it out halfway through the first song, it's uh, it's not very good. So I just want to strengthen it so I can okay. drive right through the end of the set. Okay, um, well, if you want to work on your voice, we can certainly work on it. Um, That'd be fucking killer. <laughs> I swear not much to. <laughs> oh, it's the punk, man. You gotta have the fucking punk. Eater, eater, eater. <laughs> All right, well, what I can do is help you to balance your voice. Okay. Um, now, what you choose to do after that is up to you. Yeah, just to strengthen the old throat hole. You know, you got to strengthen it, build it up a little bit. Yeah, you have to, uh, well, it's not strengthening it. It's actually taking the pressure off it. Oh, yeah, open her up, eh? Yeah, you, you. I'm always telling my girlfriend, open the throat hole, open the throat hole. No, that's not exactly what it is. Oh. It's about proper balance between fear and tension. The fear and tension, that sounds punk. Well, <laughs> you don't want to have too much tension in your throat, but you need a certain kind of tension to get things done. Yeah, true that, man. Uh, you got a website or anything? Fucking yeah. voicelessons.com or something? Uh, you can uh, check out my website. It's uh, freeyourvoice.org. Okay. Oh, fucking A. Should change it to freeyourfuckingvoice.org. org. That'd be fucking killer. Then, then I get all the punk singers, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, should I just drop by, or what's the, what's the fucking deal? Well, why don't you check out my website and see what what uh, if there's anything that uh, appeals to you there. Okay. And from there, give me a call, and we can make an arrangement. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot for your time, man. All right. Oh, fucking Have a good one. All right, man. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I did take some lessons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's just wrong on so many levels. <laughs> like, you know, when 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 Louis booked this, you know, he said that you guys were... Okay, so apparently you guys can... 
Hey, if Louie's been hitting the stem again, that's yeah, not my a, problem. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know. I'm sure you can redeem yourself can, with some live music. Could you could you entertain? Sure. Do you want a song for the ladies? I would like a little t- tender, sensitive song oh, okay. for the ladies, right. please. This is, uh, it's a special one. Thank you. Thank one you. That, uh, we'll send out to all the pretty ladies out there. Maybe you're having a bubble bath and uh, sorting your doilies. Uh, who knows? You know? Yeah. Here's a special one. This one's called Hot as Fuck. <laughs> I said, girl. Whoa, my girl. You're hot as fuck and you know it's true. I want to get high, make love to you. Come on. You know I saw that girl in a picture of a beach party. She was a dime and a knockdown smoking hottie. I was a loser in a rock and roll band. Ain't got no money, ain't got no plan. So I pimp my shit with some flowers and some sexy candy. You flip my big like a champ and I'm feeling ready. You fit your new kicks, you know she's so fine. Hype new tricks really blow my mind. I said, girl. Oh my girl You're hot as fuck and you know it's true I wanna get high, make love to you I said girl Oh my girl The way you move, crazy, funk and fly I wanna do it up right cause it's hammer time You know that in my world I'm all about us being naughty Kinky time of day, little pretty, little princess naughty I could put you in the back of the van Keep you quiet, tie up your hands You know you'll be so sweet See together come a happy ending Loving kinky shit, SNL and I'm feeling ready Bitch your new kicks you know she's so fine, have new tricks, really blow. Come on, boys! One more time, all you gotta do is slap my behind. Come on! Barbershop Podcast, you've got Lo-Fi giving it to you down and dirty repeatedly, <laughs> whether you like it or not. But trust me, you will like it. <laughs> the video experience. It <laughs> I mean, we're living it right here, live. This is live TV. But as far as video and you guys putting out videos, again, it's a very, the potential for creativity and producing videos is there. Tell me about doing, 
your videos? How do oh, you man, approach it's them? Great, you know, back in the day when all we had was four tracks and there was no computers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to look in the mirror and dance around. That was my video. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> once I hit puberty, that had it to was stop. over. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. But no, it's uh, it's a lot of fun, as you know, right? With you guys with your show, it's a lot of work too, yeah. right? I mm-hmm. mean, even for a small thing, it's a lot of work, but. Uh, that's yeah, fun. It's another way to push buttons, right? Get attention and that sort of thing. So, yeah, we like it. Well, tell me about, we're going to play one of them. I don't know. Which one, Ryan? What do you think? The, the Get, get buff, 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 yeah. The Get Buff? Yeah. This is about the lo-fi lifestyle. You know what? And it's legendary. It is, man. It's uh, it's it's branded, actually. You can yeah. get lo-fi wear, gear. You can get the hats and yeah, hoodies a- and coats. And Ferrari, I think, has even got a special edition Testarossa. Yeah, man. It's up, uh, It's near Bass Pro Shops up in Vaughan. It's called the Shit Mall. It's on the road to nowhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's where you'll find lo-fi. Well, <laughs> here's a little slab of them here from barbershoppodcast.com. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jeffrey Life. I'm a doctor. You might recognize these pictures and ask yourself, how did I go from being a fat slob to fucking buff? Well, let me tell you something. Lo-fi changed my fucking life. When I discovered Lo-Fi, it was a new lease on life. Lo-Fi's helped tons of men and women all across America get super hot and buff. It's good times. I used to be a fat slob too, and then I discovered Lo-Fi. I love fucking Lo-Fi. Rocking out, getting thin. The best thing about Lo-Fi for me was meeting a lot of easy girls at their shows. (laughs) I'm a whore. Lo-Fi is powerful. Improving health, decreasing body fat, increasing muscle tone, strength, sex drive, and energy. If it works for this guy, fucking lo-fi, it could work for you too. Call 1-800-GET-FUCKING-BUFF. Okay, here we go. Lo-fi here at barbershoppodcast.com. All right. Well, we want to say a little uh, heads up to all lo-fi peeps out there. Thanks a lot. What are you pointing at, Kenny? Um, oh, we got it. We got it. We're good. Fine. We're golden. We're good. And uh, yeah, any shout outs? And what do you think? Any DJ Double Dutch shout outs? DJ Double Dutch. J- DJ Double Jay Dutch. Jay Scarrett. For yeah. sure. Jay Scarrett, Lazy Flamingo. Poster Boys. I love those Johnny guys. Johnny Chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. Adam Newman and yeah. his uh, Facebook nudity. <laughs> Pardon me? Oh, yeah, we got yeah, we should promote that. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> we're playing at uh, the Casbah on April 12th, so we could really love to see you there. We'll have our drummer, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't ask us where he the drummer was. He was barred. Were. Yeah. <laughs> no he's, room. He's been busy since Friday, apparently. <laughs> oh, Joshy. Living the low life. <laughs> Milk. <Yeah. laughs> Anyways, this is one for all the people out there on their cell phones making sneaky texts to people they shouldn't be texting. So uh, this one's called Sneaky. She's friends with my girlfriend's friends. She says that my friends to the end. But girly got a game going on. She be creeping and it won't take long. With the text and the video phone Reaching out to me all night long Says she ain't gonna tell no one So long as I come and we get it done But I'm your feet FSPF I think your brain got up and left oh, What you doing while you micing me? Damn girl, just leave me be She's sneaky Baby girl, let me know that she wanna get freaky TikTok on the clock says she want to come meet me. But I know if I go, that girl they gonna just eat me. TikTok on the clock. Not like the way you move your body. Pretty sweet for a low down creeping hottie. I like the way you move your body. Pretty sweet for a low down creep and hot A. Eh? Well, I'm your GFFSPF. I think your brain got up and left. What you doing while you're mocking me? Damn, girl, just leave me be. She's sneaky. Yeah. Baby girl, let me know that she want to get freaky. Tick tock on the clock says she want to come be me. But I know if I go that girl, they're gonna just eat me. 
Tick tock on the clock. Don't understand me. She's got to make it right. All this monkey business, you know, it got me fighting for my life. She don't think I notice. She don't think I see. I'm playing with my fire. I get burned in third degree. Come on. I'm your GF, that's BF. I think your brain got up and left. What you doing while you're my kid, me? Damn, girl, just leave me be. Come on. Yeah. Rev select. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. <laughs> She's sneaking. Oh, baby girl, let me know if you want to get free. Gonna, gonna, gonna just eat me. Tick tock of the clock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tick tock of the clock. We got a little lo fi here at barbershoppodcast.com, <laughs> yeah. rocking our Wednesday night as we do each and every Wednesday night here in Hamilton, Ontario, home of some of the greatest music in the history of the world. And we are privileged to have them each and every week. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. This has been a real treat. We want to play, uh, uh, again, some more of your uh, recorded uh, uh, efforts in the studio, the the work of, uh, of Vince and Kenny, which, you know, must be a couple of mad scientists in there recording together. Um, um, is, is there any time when you're in the studio, like speak uh, like you two, like when you're in there, like, are you surprised? Like, do you let it kind of holistically kind of grow or is there like a groove that sticks in your head where that's okay? Like you two get together and then bring it back and say, that's the groove. Let's write the song on top of it. Or is it a done deal? <laughs> that's, that's, gotta be, well, you want to, you want to feel this one out there? My eye tie buddy. <laughs> my uh, yeah, eye tie buddy. Uh, <laughs> that's what my history teacher <laughs> called the Italians in grade nine when I was 1979. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because uh, one thing about me and Ken working in the studio is how much we bump heads. Yeah. We bump heads constantly. We're constantly arguing, constantly. But the thing is, is that while we're arguing, we still try each other's ideas. Yeah, yeah. And just keep it going, keep you it going. Try keep everything, going. right? We just our philosophy is is that you have to record it because how the hell are you going to know? If it sounds good, and you you're probably surprised every once in a while, it's like, yeah, I didn't want to admit it, but he's fucking right. You know, it sounds. Oh, good. we do that a lot. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. It's a stinger. Right, but yeah. He is. He's right a lot. Yeah. He's right. right sometimes, and it's uh, no, it works out really. Yeah, good. We, no, we we make a good team. That's do you, for sure. do you, but do you have pieces of songs? Like, do you have like a killer groove that kicks around where it just it's needing words or it's needing someone to finish, or do the, the, the songs kind of like all kind of appear at once? Um, we we'll usually bring somebody will bring a skeleton in. And then we kind of take it from there. That's yeah. cool. The ingredients are kind of there. They're roaming around all of us. And we all kind of, you know, everyone puts in their, their, their two cents. And by the end of it, it's... Uh... There's just three, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, the, the fun thing about this band is that these guys bring me a lot of the stories that we sing. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah you <laughs> talk true. and you laugh and then you're right. Because yeah. I want to know about Bum to Bum. I mean, I need to know about Bum to Bum. <laughs> that because... song needs to be huge for all men. We don't even care if we make any money off of it. I just want to <laughs> see a world where girls just dance Bum to Bum. Yeah. And, and explain and then go magic that, of bum to well, bum. Well, it's a song basically about the best way you could imagine two girls dancing with each other. Yes. Well, one of the best ways, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bum to bum. Bum like, to kinda, bum. You know. Half a merman. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, well, we're going to spin it because we got so much music to get to and so little to chat about in the face of this music here at barbershoppodcast.com. A little bum to bum. We're not... I like it when the girls dance bomb to bomb. I like it when the girls dance bomb to bomb. I like it when the girls dance bomb to bomb. Oh, but I love it when they switch it so and tongue to tongue. I'd really love 
you if you were dancing bum to bum. Maybe that's your sister. Maybe that's your mom. Maybe that's your grandma. I thought I knew that bum. Cause that rump is crazy whack. A double barrel shotgun heart attack. You know I sit right back and I fill my cup. So come on now, girl, come on, back it up. I like it when the girls dance bomb to bomb. I like it when the girls dance bomb to bomb. I like it when the girls dance bomb to bomb. But I love it when they switch so and tongue to tongue. your backbone slide i'm ready for that jelly i'm into galactic and planetary gonna work it until it's nice and cherry and my girl like to party all the time party all the time party all the time well she's an uptown girl in a downtown world so very bootylicious gonna rock my world she loves a stone cold fox double shots on the rocks booty on the tv paparazzi round the clock i got a dollar bill banging a champagne draining a working like a devil in my gold Chain I never had a dollar, I never had a dime I'm watching my TV cause the lady's looking fine I'm playing with my thing like a hot tube steak I'm wishing I was living in a Hollywood city I said I thought I never had it, and I never will I'm just a loser with a pocket full of pills So take me down to the Paradise City Where the grass is weed and the girls got kitty Take me down to the Paradise City Where the grass is weed and the girls got kitty Barbershop Podcast. Barbershop Podcast. Every Wednesday night, we're rocking and rolling and getting through to you with lo-fi. Lo-fi in the house tonight. I cannot believe it. I want to ask in this happiness and this joyous laughing kind of environment, what pisses you off? Like, you know, not in the keep you up at night way, but what is the thing that kind of get, is in your craw? Right now, let's start with lips because you seem angriest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the... Uh, <laughs> the happy joy joy no uh i'm not gonna say you're not gonna say what about the the business though you know in 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 the business what would be your hope let's go the other side of that sure, what, what would be your hope <laughs> <laughs> you know when the guys share their cacks the cacks yeah i hate that that's the worst yeah <laughs> uh you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's move on you got an awesome podcast Set up, and your drummer can't be bothered to make it out. Well, that pisses me yeah. off. Yeah. Well, he's going to re- rue the day, won't it's, he? Hey, as far you know as, what? Hey, you got to love the guy, though. He's got a heart of gold. As far I, as I, I love him forever. I hear he's making uh, posts on the message board, too, as well. Is he? Oh, our, our drummer. Yeah. Well, if he's got Lightning enough it. time for that, he should. Oh, yeah. He, he's got time for his fingers there. Finger, I know. Finger. I don't know where. Yeah, yeah. yeah fuck. We'll have to have him back on the, the drummer cast. Occupied last time. It's like most Kenny had it last time. Hey! 
<laughs> All right, you guys, you guys are getting silly, and it, Kevin, the only way to get you to shut up is to play beautiful music. Can you play? A, <laughs> can you play a ditty for me? Oh, you, you have a ditty? ditty? We, got a, <laughs> we got a ditty okay. for you. Here's one for all you people on the Greyhound across Canada right now. Check this out. When you're stopping through Saskatchewan, down in Regina, you pull this one out. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. There's a strawberry supper in my pants. In my pants, there's a strawberry supper in my pants. When the mood is right and you want a romance, there's a strawberry supper in my pants. You know I met that girl down in North Carolina. What? She opened up her legs. I said, nope, you're from Regina. She said, I am very sorry, but sorry's all I got. I said, I don't care, baby. Just come on, give it up. Because I like to drink. I don't like to dance. And there's a strawberry supper in my pants, baby. There's a strawberry, strawberry supper, supper in, in my pants, in my pants. There's a strawberry supper in my pants. When the mood is right and you want a romance, there's a strawberry supper in my pants, baby. I have mercy, cause I've been waiting on the bus all day. Well, have mercy, cause I've been waiting on the bus all day. Well, I've been waiting on the bus all day. There's a strawberry supper in my pants, in my pants. There's a strawberry supper in my pants. Oh, when the mood is right and you want a romance, there's a strawberry supper in my pants. There's a strawberry supper in my pants, in my pants. There's a strawberry supper in my pants. When the mood is right and you want a romance, there's a strawberry supper in my pants, baby. There's a strawberry supper in my pants, in my pants. There's a strawberry supper in my pants. When the mood is right and you want a romance, there's a strawberry supper in my pants. When the mood is right and you want a romance, there's a strawberry supper. Wait for it. In my pants. And that's entertainment here at Barbershop Podcast. I'm telling you, you don't get the same fare each and every week. (laughs) This is You go down the street, you go to your different establishments that support live music, you're going to get enlightened, you're going to get entertained, you might get thrilled, you could get shocked, (laughs) but you will not be disappointed. (laughs) No, not at all. No, you will not be. Um, There ain't no party like a lo-fi party. There ain't no party like a lo-fi party. So tell me, what's in the future for lo-fi? Like, Where do you find yourself now and where are you looking to go? That's a big, big question, but a little question. What's New your album next coming step? Up. We're gonna plug away on the next few months. Yep. Yeah. Um, you got you got a lot of stuff in the in the potential bag as far as songs. Oh yeah, there's a there's potential bag. <laughs> <laughs> potential bag is the name of those songs. Yeah, we've got, we've got like a little stockpile of uh, of of song, song song starts starters, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a matter of that. fleshing them out. Yeah, and it seems like flesh is a big part of uh, lo fi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this will be, if we do another one, that'll be four or five, number five. Number five. Wow. And how many Fifth. years is that you've been together? 10, uh, we've 12? been together since 2005. All right. Yeah, yeah. So Nine years. I'll remember a couple of years. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there has been times where we like, does the world need another lo-fi record? You know? <laughs> How many times can I talk about? It's not, it, yeah, it's not up to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not up to them. If you waited for them, nothing would get done. That's true. You know. That's true. But, uh, you know, like, like I said, you know, Ken last week was like, let's get some songs together, you know? So that's inspiring too, you know. The guys in the band still like to do it, and, and yeah, it, it's it, great. So. It's infectious, and it's it's great music. It's great to laugh, and and again, like that to to that combination, and you see it time and time again of amazing musicians who take the craft so seriously, but don't take themselves too seriously. It's it's a gift, and it's a very strong person who's able to laugh at themselves and laugh. And a lot of people who want to shit on that, fuck you, okay? Yeah. Because it's it's a tough thing to do. Uh, to wear that mantle and to do it and to kind of shake down all the things that uh, someone wants to call you out on. In fact, you're the one who's yeah, you know, shouting that down. The thing I noticed most, like if you're going to do a band like this where you're, you know, you're right on the edge all the time, you gotta, 
like for me anyways as the the singer like i really appreciate that the guys in the band they have they they carry the torch too yeah. you know what i mean because if you had a band full of guys that wasn't really it into in, it. You couldn't yeah. get into that. It better be the real thing, man. Or, <laughs> yeah. You know? It makes your job really tough because you got to sell it. You know, yeah, you can't go yeah. up there and, and these do those guys, songs half These guys live the life, you know, so. It's true. It's easy. Well, I was going to spin one more, but I'd like to get one more live one out of you because I'm enjoying awesome. that way more at this point in time. So, well, you know what? We'll really slow this one down. Okay. We'll really send it out It's to a bit the of ladies. a waltz, right? A little bit of a dirge. Yeah. yeah. This goes out to all of the... The rear end implant companies down in California will send this one out to you. This one's called the Booty. <laughs> Like me if you knew me is what she used to say But I don't want no sweet talk when I'm looking for a lay So ride me like a horsey and punch me in the face If you're looking for a lover You better look some other place You better look some other place Because I'm right on time for the booty. Because I'm right on time for the booty. Don't you just tell me the way it's supposed to be My cotton candy kisses hanging from your rosary You can have your cheap talk and your pleasantries I'll take some old English and a pack of Trojan, please Well, I said a pack of Trojan, please Do you know why? Because I'm right We'd like to thank the Barbershop Podcast. We'd like to take thank uh, old Kevin there at the controls and old uh, old Ryan slash Jimmy back there. <laughs> Looking real good. And we'd like to thank all the uh, live music supporters in Hamilton, man. You guys, yeah. you make it all worthwhile. And we'll send this last verse out to you. I can see you naked, I look while you're asleep Your ass is in the mirror and it's smiling back at me So leave me in the morning, that's what I like to do But come back in the evening And bring your sister too That's right! I say do oh, bring your sister too Because I'm 
on guitar. Right on time for the booty here at barbershoppodcast.com. Each and every Wednesday, 7, 8, 9, something o'clock. You're sure to have a good show. Check us out at barbershoppodcast.com. Ryan Cannon, I got a feeling that you had a hell of a good time tonight, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I had a, this is, yeah. This, this <laughs> it was is one, one of, of my favorites. Yeah, I'm crying over here yeah, having such a good time. Yeah. Are we and, done? Should I cue uh, the music? Yeah, I cue the music. You know, uh, I got, right, I really, right. I don't know how we can top that. You know, the, that was a wonderful send off. Yeah, I want to thank, really oh, man, it. I want to thank Lips and I want to thank Todd and Vince and Ken for coming out and Any gracing time. Barbershop Podcast. They will spread the word about what we got going on here and what a great place Hamilton, Ontario is for music. Guys, thanks for coming out. Yes, thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All right, each yeah, and every yeah. week. Come in next week. We'll see you at barbershoppodcast.com.